All right, listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Good. Now check your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will move toward the center of your compass. Approach your current objective. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Go, go, go! Martin, good to see you. They got your sorry butt here it, too, ladies. huh? This is not your Aunt Fanny's dance. Jump over him! Come on, Elder, get the lead out! Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Sergeant, fire up those machine guns! Privates, let's go, let's go, let's go! Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna take you through weapons Eyes training. Eyes up, Private. The rest of I'm up here, stay right here, in the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. Approach the fence and fire six rounds at your target. Your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. Fire six more rounds at your target, in different stances and while moving. You will be more accurate while not moving, and in a crouching or prone position. These skills could mean your life. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left, move to the fence, and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. Hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons, besides your sidearm and grenades. Fire ten rounds at your target. First from the hip. Get used to firing both ways. Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. You're gonna move slower this way. You can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Now switch weapons, Private. Unless you're as dumb as you are ugly, it may dawn on you that each weapon is good for different situations. Make the wrong choice and you could buy the farm. Fire three more rounds at your target. Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. Pick up the frag grenades from the table. Pick them up. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire! Move behind the concrete post and lean to the left, then the right. It'll help protect you from the enemy. All right, Private. Move on to the next area. Remember, Private, if you get hurt, grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our last station will be explosives. Pick them up, partner. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. 
This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown off. Good job, Private. Well done. Keep your weapons with you and clean at all times. You are dismissed. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord. The air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H-hour D-Day, seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword Beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H-hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H-hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. schon einmarschiert sind. Wir werden es als Erste wissen. Sie kommen mitten durch die Amerikaner. Falsch. Der Lama Roosevelt von Vetter Churchill würde hier niemals auf... Sie riechen wie Käse!
guys, get set to move. On my command. Let's go, let's go!
explosives and take that clock panzer out.
right, fellas. Take five, but listen up. We'll hold this place till reinforced, but this is just one tiny village in a war and country full of them, so our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll redeploy those German machine guns setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies in mind. Good work.